All right, it's December 27th. December 27th. I think it's, uh, well, I don't know what day it is. I think it's Sunday. So what it belong, what, what it boils down to is it's not even seven o'clock. It's not even seven o'clock. I'm like a dumbass wearing a long sleeve t-shirt and I'm sweating. Sweating to the oldies on December 27th. Total bullshit. Uh, heard the water temp this morning on the weather radio was 69 degrees at the jetties. 69 degrees. That's unbelievable.
Here I go. Here I go. I'm going to the dark side. We'll be spooling up that cast king I was talking about. Going to the dark side. This is cast king. This is that Chinese PE line. They can't really be, I guess, called Spectre, Dyneema, or anything that like Power Pro and American stuff is. Um, from what I gather, you know, it's such a mystery out there. Woo, mystery. Everything's a mystery. Nobody seems to know diddly squat about what's going on with these lines. But we all talk, right? Well, one of my subscribers, which I, I kind of like this guy because, um, you know, he kind of speaks his mind. Old Orlos the Druid. <laughs> you know who you are. He's like, this ain't nothing but a bunch of damn recycled plastic bottles and dooby doo boo and ooh doo hoo and stuff. And I told him, I said, yeah, I kind of, I, I know. So, um, then there's, uh, what's his name? I can't remember his name now. Matt Rhodes Fishing. He's another, uh, channel that I, I watch sometimes, um. And he's using this exclusively. He's, um, I don't know, it seems like kind of promoting them or something. I don't know what he's doing with them, but he's he's gone to the other side too, I guess. But um, I'm calling it the dark side because most of the time I use stuff like uh, Power Pro. I use a lot of uh, some Berkeley products. I'm a, I still like Spider Wire. Um, I really like some stuff that I got in like monster bulk off of Amazon, believe it or not. Stuff by High Seas called Grand Slam. Really, really good line. I mean, great braid. So I got me a uh, little 2020 Daiwa Ryoga down here. Another reel that I stole. Um, and I'm going to spool this reel up. With this green cast king. It's a 20 pound test. Um, you get a thousand meters or 1,094 yards. And I looked it up, it was $23. I couldn't really remember what I paid for it before. $23. Then I know uh, have another subscriber. I think it's, uh, it might be. Well, I can't remember exactly who, who it was that told me about it. I don't know if it's a subscriber or somebody I, I know of on Facebook. Says he's been using this too. I mean, so no problems whatsoever. But I'm sitting here at the Daiichi Seiko line recycling machine. And you know what I can't believe? I don't know if you can see it here. This is the recycling machine. You got this, and it grips on here, and you got a place to put your reel. Okay. I did a complete two-part video all about this machine. Okay. I can't believe what I see some of these you know, super-duper bass guys, how they're spooling their reels. Um, one of them was old Tackle Junkie. I told him about this. I mean, personally, you're not you're not even close to a tackle junkie if you don't have stuff to take care of the most important part. I told him about this on a, on a in a comment. This is a precision way of putting line on your reels, taking line off your reel, swapping, putting a spool down here, spool up here, and turning your line around. That's why this is called the Daiichi Seiko line recycling machine. And then at the same time, you get a spool like this with a bunch of holes in it and stuff. You can wash the line. Wash it off in nice fresh water. Spin it dry. How about that? 
I'm telling you. Gotta love those Japanese. They've got it going on. So I take my spool here and I'm all set up. Uh, let's see if we can see that. And I'm going to put it on there like that. And then we've got a little conical shaped jigamarol here. And then we got this thing here that will slide in behind it and lock it in. I guess uh, Don, Don of the UK. I guess he's still using his. He bought one of these. Oh. Don over there in the UK, Mr. Long Pole Fisherman. See, this provides tension. It's got a handle. You got a drag system on here. So um, when you go to uh, put the line on down here, you got tension on it. You can adjust the tension. It's so sweet, man. It's absolutely so sweet. So um, I'm going to put this on. And uh, hope you enjoyed that big old sheep's head footage. Largest sheep's head so far this fall slash winter season. Caught by Dylan. Great kid. Fantastic kid, just fun to be with. Never complained, never said boo. And we were at the inlet prior to him catching that dang sheep's head. And um, it was rough as a cop and he was getting seasick and he never said a word. I didn't know that. But I mean, finally it kind of came out. So, I'm going to spool up some Cast King. I'll let you all know what I feel about it. I don't have any super particular line that I just love and will be a fanboy over. So um, this will probably work for me just fine. But we'll see. We'll see how it works. We all know the characteristics of the line that we're using now. So when you change, you can see the characteristics of the new line. So, um, alrighty. Well, I appreciate you stopping by. Spool this badass damn dial with Ryoga 2020 H high speed up. And um, I'll take it fishing the next couple times and give it the once over with the Cast King PE line. Alrighty, thanks for watching. See you next time.